Hello there, how are you? Welcome to a new session. In today's video, we are going to see three things, three different things. One, we are going to make a review of everything that we have learned during this first weeks of this first partial. Two, we are going to have our last class of the first partial, just the first partial. Okay, this last uh, learning session in this video. And three, I am going to give you the instructions for you to get ready for the summative. Yes, we'll be this weekend, so get ready. You have to practice a lot. So let's go. We have to do a lot. Well, guys, this is a sight reading summative example, okay? We have been practicing this kind of exercise, so we are going to uh, practice this thing for our summative, okay, on live session. So, guys, I am going to play this exercise for you to practice at home. And remember, you have to name each note, you have to sing in a proper tune, and you have to respect all the notations that are here. So please pay attention. I'm going to reproduce it. you will have an example you will have a little clip of this uh, exercise for you to practice okay it will be on your choir folder on school DIY recording studio at home chapter 2 great music is being produced all the time in bedrooms garage and basements by normal people like you and me. Often, with little more than a computer, a smartphone, and some headphones. The recording process. Prepare your device. Get ready before start. You will need two electronic devices smartphone to record your voice computer or ipad to download the track that you will use as a guide headphones to listen the guided song using them so when you begin to record it only catch your voice and not the outside sound prepare your recording studio spot you will need DIY pop filter to get a better quality sound. Lyrics for you to do not forget the lyrics when you start recording. Voice booth. Place your smartphone in the voice booth and tape your pop filter. Pay attention to the explanation and follow the instructions step by step. Voice booth. What is a voice booth for? A portable vocal boot is an audio isolation setup that creates an acoustically treated space for your microphone. By isolating the microphone, they assist in preventing reflections of walls, echoes, reverbs, and background noises. Absorbing unwanted noise, an isolation shield will ensure that your voice is delivered with upgraded quality and cleanliness. There are a great solution to combat poor room acoustics and minimize noise. Using a vocal wood, you can expect an increased quality in vocal recordings, just your vocals. To create a voice booth at home, 
We will need a big plastic container, could be a carton box or a little space in a closet, a blanket, a pillow, your DIY pop filter, and tape. Note, ask for an adult help. If you have these elements at home, you can start working on your DIY voice booth. Then create a room, create a space when you can have at home your recording studio spot. Remember that you have to be sure that your device, when you are going to record your voice, have plenty space. With you, my helper. He's showing you the correct position. You need to be in front of your DIY pop filter and start singing. Not too close, not too far. If you don't have at home a container box like the one that I show you or a carton box, you can use your closet. Just pick a space, empty that space and fulfill it with a pillow and your blanket. Recording time! Yes, finally! When you finish recording your voice, check that the sound is as clean as possible. In case you need to correct tuning or tempo, you can re-record yourself as many times as necessary until you are ready. When you are completely done, share your audio to email or Google Drive. If you have any question, you can contact me as soon as possible. Higher class summative exam. Important information. Please take a moment to read carefully the instructions for the summative and organize your time to practice. Summative instructions. The choir's summative will consist in two parts, a sight reading exercise and the repertory. Sight reading exercise will be the 50% of the grade. You will have an example of a sight reading exercise, the one that you have here in this video, to get ready for the summative. Also, you will have an independent clip where you are going to practice the sight reading exercise. On live session, you will have two opportunities to sing a new sight reading exercise, similar to the one that you already practiced. Grading criteria. Proper intonation with name of each note. That will be 25% of the grade. That means that you have to sing in tune and naming each note. That means that you have to sing do, re, mi, fa, sol, and so on. Precise rhythmic, another 25% of the grade. That means that you need to respect all the notations that you will find in that exercise, respecting the rest, the notes, whole notes, quarter notes, and so on. Sing the repertory will be the 50% of the grade. You will have to record only your voice and send it before the summative on live session. Practice this song and record it, the whole song, following the recommendations on the video DIY Recording Studio at Home, part one and two. That means that you need to record yourself using your DIY pop filter and your DIY voice booth at home. Grading criteria. Intonation, 25%. Audio quality, 25%. That means that you need to get sure that the track is in good quality. And here we have the summative grading. 
And this is an example of the exercise that you will have on the summative. Practice sight reading. Now you know that the sight reading will be the 50% of the summative, okay? And practice the repertory because you have to send the repertory the whole song using all the things that you did at home for your recording studio at home. Send me the pictures. This is the task. You have to send me a picture of your a DIY recording studio spot at home. That's the task. And you have to get ready for the summative. For the summative will be the repertory, 50%, and the side reading part, another 50%. So guys, bye. See you in our summative.